Hello, today I have a new video for you guys. Um, I am working on the GMC Sierra. It's, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, it's a 5.3 liter. Um, there's the exhaust hole. I have a cap in it, so if when it rains, it doesn't get rain in it when it's sitting. Um, but this is a 5.3 with a 78 millimeter turbocharger on here, 78, 75. It's all dusty, working on cleaning it up and getting it ready for the season, just for some fun. It doesn't really get going, it doesn't go to the track, it's just for the street. I might take it to the track a few times, but we'll see. But today we're not doing anything in the motor. We are actually working on the front end, and we are putting some tie rods off a Duramax on it. So let me show you those. They're not off a Duramax, for a Duramax. These are them. Very heavy duty. And this thing's four wheel drive, so if we we will be launching in four wheel drive and we don't want to break the tire out, you know, because they're super weak. That's a stock one. This is the new ones I got. And these are actually just off eBay. They're just um heavy duty tie rods. They're actually pretty inexpensive. And um they don't I thought they were gonna fit right off the bat, no difference, because Everything fits uh, like lengthwise, but this tapered part is different size on the ones for the Duramax. And so I'll show you what I did to make them work. I was gonna do get a different knuckle, but that's a lot of work, and I don't want to change everything up for that. So I'll show you what I did, and we'll get putting this one on. So let me get the truck raised up and the tire off, and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so we have the wheel off. Makes it easier. You need to pull off this cotter pin on your 1500. Just use a couple needle pin to pair needle nose pliers. like that I'll loosen this nut just like that tap this up Just like that. That one's stuck in there. Okay, now we need to remove off that side, which I'm using just a crescent wrench. Where it went is in this other garage. You can see, it was just like that. Pretty easy. Okay, next what you'll need is a 9 16 drill bit, like that one, and this is just to drill at the bottom so the bolt fits through, and yeah, it is, uh, it's actually pretty easy, but I'll show you guys how to do it, or how I did it, I don't know if it's the right way. Okay. I just want to drill as straight as possible. Okay. I can see it's been drilled. It's still tapered. You don't go all the way because you just get until I'll show you because you'll be drilling a gig in. Okay, so we drilled that out. But you're not going on it, the drill bit will only work so far because then you aren't because you're not drilling out all the taper, just the bottom portion. As you can see, it fits through. I'm not forcing it down, I'm just pushing it, setting it in there. So, next, I'll show you what you need. So, I got this at Harbor Freight, it's a tapered bit. 
and it's a very close to the same taper as this tie rod. So same angle. It's maybe barely different, but it will. It's close enough to work once you tighten it down. There's no room, no play. So we will start drilling down that. You want it. To, you want to keep it as as like straight as possible. Make sure it's straight. Check on it. See that bevel? Exactly what we want. Or the taper, tapered. Okay. As you can see, there is the tapered portion that will match this tapered portion right here. And we should be good. So you just want to go right to the have the right to the end of this drill bit because the largest point on here is the size of the end of that drill bit. And so next, let's measure and set our tie rod length because you're gonna to want to get alignment after this, but this will get you close enough so it's not hurting anything to drive to get alignment. So let me go grab a tape measure and we'll do this part next. But I'm gonna measure from the center point, which is this, all the way to this. So that's where it's gonna to touch up against the truck for the steering rack or whatever you call it. And so I'll do that on both of them. And then I'll just, well, I'll start on this one and then adjust this one accordingly. Okay, so we got this on. We're actually gonna measure it again from now since it did move when we we're tightening it. But that's on there, that's there. So now let's remeasure it and get it adjusted correctly. So like I said on this one, it is 15 from out to center, 15 and a quarter. Now let's check this one. It needs to go in a lot. Okay, so that, that is super close there. Let me just verify where this one should be. Yeah, that is perfect. Now, I'll slide this in right here. And that is it. That is how you do tie rods for a dirt, heavy duty tie rods that are made for a Duramax to fit a GMC Sierra. And once they're tightened down, like on the other side, I loosened it, you know, and there's no wiggle room and that taper sucks it down nice. The taper is about perfect when I was measuring it with my micrometer. So yeah, it should be a good upgrade from stock and I'm excited. So next, I just need to get alignment. Don't forget to tighten this bolt. That's so, you know, things don't move, but we'll tighten that one now. And then we should be good to go. Go with the alignment, and that is it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time.